Hi, guys. Would you not turn your back to the camera like that? <clears throat> Hi, guys. It is a fine... <clears throat> is it late spring or early summer morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization up here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, where we actually have hip campers this weekend, outside of Ithaca, New York, on this fine Saturday morning... <clears throat> Where are we? I don't even know where we are anymore. Is it June 12th, 2021? Somewhere around there. So the little dog and I have to take John Michael Greer's advice and get out there with a hoe to uh, grow vegetables. So we got to get out in the cornfield this morning and then head up to Sister Sandy's to help her and Brother Alistair build a fence at her organic garden. So guys, I was going to sit here and do a full-blown rant on this story from Axios, I think. Uh, the West is the driest. It has been in 1,200 years raising questions about a livable future. Uh, just talking about how completely screwed uh, the U.S. West is. Anyway, this is a long involved piece. I might get back onto it, but I'm quite sure my <coughs> colleagues down here in the echo chamber of the Doomosphere, as Mike Sleva calls our little club down here, uh, Probably covering it. My guess is Paul Beckwith and Kevin Sandbloom are taking care of this already. So what I'm going to do, somewhat reluctantly, uh, <clears throat> we're going to give Joe Biden some good press. We're going to give Save the Planet Joe Biden some good press. Let's just read the story and then come back for a few doomer comments on the Save the President, Save the Planet President Joe Biden. This story also from Axios. <clears throat> Biden to repeal or replace Trump rule allowing roads in Alaska's Tongass National Forest. The Biden administration said Friday that it will repeal or replace a rule change from former President Trump that opened up a large portion of Alaska's Tongass National Forest to road construction and other types of development. Yes, that rule change was part of Republican efforts during the Trump administration to expand logging operations in the forest, which is one of the world's largest intact temperate rainforests. Yes, uh, road construction in the Tongass National Forest had been barred for two decades before Donald Trump you know, reverse course and permitted it and other forms of development and expanded logging operations in a huge swath of the forest roughly three months before leaving office. Environmentalists and members of Alaska's recreation industry have argued that preventing road construction is a key to preserving the forest which is also, well, at, at the moment, a massive natural carbon dioxide sink. <coughs> the expected Biden administration <coughs> move is a continuation of the new president's rollback of Trump-era resource extraction and environmental protection policies. Biden's Environmental Protection Agency is working on re-implementing certain federal protections for streams, marshes, and other wetlands that had been pared back under Trump. His, it, 
Interior Department also suspended nearly a dozen oil and gas leases inside the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. And then, of course, what I like about Axios is how they do this yes, but at the end of their stories. It's kind of a reverse hopium. Yes, but the Biden administration also in May defended the U.S. District Court for Alaska for a massive ConocoPhillips oil and gas project approved by Donald Trump. So, uh, I anyway, guys, <clears throat> just for those of you who are not aware of what this is all about, uh, as I mentioned way back in the Farrakh Obama administration, uh, you know, what this is <clears throat> is called throwing bones at greenies is what this is, that uh, it's just like Barack Obama, while he was, his administration was laying more oil and gas pipeline than any president in the history uh, of this country. More uh, fossil fuel pipelines were constructed under the Barack Obama administration than under either one of the Bushes. Now, I don't know if uh, Donald Trump actually approved more pipelines. Uh, oh, yes, and of course, you know, Biden, uh, you know, axing the Keystone Pipeline, and we do have some good news that the builders of the Keystone Pipeline finally just pulled out a, you know, a couple of days ago and said they're, they're sick and tired of all of the political wrangling. So goodbye, Keystone. Uh, not sure if Donald Trump uh, got more fossil fuel pipelines in the ground than Barack Obama or not, or whether Obama still has that, uh, that honor of being uh, the king of fracking in his administration. But anyway, <clears throat> as I was saying during the race, the race between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton uh, is the same thing. Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Joe Biden, <coughs> they're interchangeable names. That the difference between Donald Trump and any of those guys, well, girls, I guess, if you're talking Hillary, <clears throat> uh, is the difference, and Donald Trump is a nuclear uh, attack radiation burn on the planet, and Joe Biden is basically a third degree sunburn uh, on the planet. Uh, that is the difference, and so now <clears throat> Joe Biden, to his credit, okay, don't get me wrong, uh, to the man's credit, his entire environmental platform <clears throat> is just re rescinding all of the overreach of Donald Trump. You can, you can make a, an environmental legacy being the president to follow Donald Trump just knocking back uh, uh, all of this planet eating that Donald Trump did and, and make yourself, you know, score all of these points uh, with the greenies, but as they say in this, yes, but uh, the, the ones you never hear about, you know, that Donald Trump set in motion and uh, Joe Biden is voting right along with Donald Trump, like this massive ConocoPhillips uh, oil and gas project up in Alaska. It's not inside the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, it, it is just, it, it, you know, uh, Donald Trump just opened the floodgates of attacks against this country and the planet, uh, and Joe Biden is ju it's just going to be more of this steady drip, drip, drip behind the headlines. 
uh, he is not going to be so front and center. He's going to send out, you know, uh, and do his little feelers with the greenies. And the way he's buying off uh, the greenies is throwing these bones. But at least it's bones that the greenies are going to have some bones to eat. And, and good for you, Joe Biden. Uh, all, all, the, you know, all you did was take back, uh, put the Tongas back uh, where it was, you know, when Baby Bush was, I, I think this thing with the Tongas, and I can't even remember the story, is that when Bill Clinton uh, was just leaving office, kind of like, you know, Trump doing all this stuff. Bill Clinton, uh, again, I, I need to do my homework. Someone please update me. He, he did something weird with roadless areas. I think what he did was a trade-off that if they locked up the Tongas, that they could open up all of these... Um, all of these uh, national forests down here in the in the 48. I'm pretty sure that uh, Bill Clinton, that saved the planet Democratic president, pulled some shenanigans. Uh, I can't remember, but it was a trade-off. So he got credit with saving the Tongass National Forest by trading off uh, some other national forest in its place, and that law stood until Donald Trump came along, and now Joe Biden is just going back, and, and so every pretty much everything he's doing here uh, is just rolling the clock back, but, but uh, good for him. Uh, but anyway, guys, it is, it is throwing bones to greenies. This is this is the difference if, uh, if between a Joe Biden presidency and a Donald Trump one. But I don't know, little dog, what do you think? Will you take all the bones you can get? You say, but I will take some of Joe Biden's bones. So we want to thank Joe Biden. I mean, I'm not kidding here, guys. I really appreciate Joe Biden throwing, throwing me some bones. And, uh... Anyway, enjoy your bones. You enjoy your little greeny bones while you just can. Of course, Joe Biden being the biggest cheerleader of the big green lie. Uh, you know, that's the centerpiece. Uh, it is the big green lie. Bright, I'm sorry, br well, big green lie and bright green lie, uh, which you know, is the bigger story that uh, Biden is going to get all of this credit for saving the planet by bringing in the Green New Deal. Joe Biden and AOC and the gang. Anyway, that's another rant for another time. But right now, the little dog and I, we need to get out in the cornfield with a hoe and thin that corn, thin that silver queen, and then head up to your Aunt Sandy's, where there's rabbits. There's rabbits in Aunt Sandy's like that. You can get that rabbit like that. Bye, guys. Yeah, 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 we're heading out to the garden.